All right, Jack, here's the deal. I don't know what this question wants for me, but I do know that you love your parents and that if you don't drink this orange juice, I'm going to eat your parents. So take it. That wasn't the direction I planned on taking this joke. Why did he take it this time? I didn't do anything differently. Oh my god, this game is gonna give me a brain aneurysm! What's up guys, welcome back to Brain Out! A game that many of you guys will remember has previously broken me. Like, to the point where I didn't think I was gonna play anymore. I got so fed up and so frustrated with constantly being shown that I'm an idiot that I didn't want to touch it ever again. But then over the holidays, I did this thing. Where instead of making YouTube videos and playing games by myself all the time, I left the house. I interacted with friends and family, and of course that got me sick. So now, I have a raging fever. And I figured if my brain is going to be boiling in my head for this entire video, what better game to force it to play than this? I still have no idea if we're close to the end of this game, but I know for sure that my sanity will not last another hundred questions. Level 101, enter the biggest possible number. I'm pretty sure they've already fooled me with this question, and they're gonna fool me with it again because I can guarantee that the answer isn't 9873200, right? Because that only makes sense. That's the biggest possible number, and that's not the answer. Maybe I can use these numbers? No. So nine eight seven three two zero zero is not correct. And I can't add any of these. Can I mess with these at all? Can I screw them around a little bit? Why are the zeros slightly smaller? And they're touching each other. Are those O's? Did they give me a bunch of letters with my numbers? So what if we put in 98732? Because O is not a number. No. So what's special about these O's? Oh! It's infinity. Infinity isn't a number though. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. No, infinity is not the biggest possible number. It's not a number. No number can be bigger than infinity, but infinity is not a number. It's kind of like how a mouse can't be bigger than a whale, but that doesn't mean that a whale is a type of fucking mouse. Oh my god, I'm already losing my patience. It's literally the first question of the episode. It has been a while since I've blown up in a video like that. Level 102, try to make the biggest possible number by moving only two matchsticks. Okay, I read biggest possible number and had a mild reaction there, but I'm pretty sure that we can't move two matchsticks to make 308 into infinity. So hopefully this won't be another stupid question. <laughs> question is, which two matchsticks do we want to move? I would imagine we want to move them off of the eight, right? That's the last digit. It would have the least impact. We can turn it into a five by removing these two. Can I rotate them? Because if I can, I can make the first number a nine and the second number an eight. Last number five? Nope, wishful thinking. Oh, I could move this one over here, and that would make the last number a 9, and then if I move this one over here, that would make the middle number a 9, so I would have 999. Nine, nine. Again, I don't know if rotating matters or not, but... I am losing my patience. <laughs> like, there's only so many possibilities, and I'm pretty sure I just came up with the best one, right? 999, nine, nine, it doesn't get any bigger than that, at least for three digits. Oh, what if I can make another number? Right, like if I take this and this and huck them to the end, then we would have 3051. That's bigger than 999. Nine, nine. That's not gonna do it. 
I'm not saying I wish I could take these matchstick numbers to burn down the house of whoever came up with these riddles, but I'm not not saying it either. Okay, I think I have the answer. I thought about this for a while, but if we can rotate them, and if we can tack them on to the end to make additional numbers, which we have to be able to because I made 999, then we must be able to take this one and this one, tack them on to the end as a one, and then we should have three, one, one, eight, one. It's bigger than 999. It's the biggest I've come up with so far. And it's the answer. Cool! So cool! Brain out, I currently have more aspirin in me than an old folks home, so I don't even remember what it feels like to be cool. Also, apparently 103 and 104 are just straight up impossible. I didn't waste half an hour trying to figure that out. It just so happens that my emulator told me that it can't possibly answer them. 105, however, is looking promising. I guess, which is the cheapest? A $5 cola, a $4 controller. That's a player two little brother mad cats if I've ever seen one. A $9 eggplant or a $10 mobile? Mobile, is that what they're called? I can't remember. It's been a long time since I've been a baby, strangely enough. I mean, it's not gonna be this. What? <laughs> what? Wait! Take a break. Ready for the next one. Oh, of course you're gonna hit me with a broken English. That was the. I'm honestly speechless. The cheapest thing was actually the cheapest thing. They didn't screw with me. Almost afraid to even think it, but maybe Brainout is finally taking pity on me. Level 106, again, who would you save? Your mom or your girlfriend? You see, they are recycling questions. They even admit to it. We've definitely seen this before. It's not every day that you have to make this kind of choice. It kind of sticks with you. <laughs> again, I choose girl from mother. Spit bubble? No. I was thinking maybe I could pop spit bubble and, and wake up. Can I lift your eyes? Why is this oddly cropped off? Can I shake? What if we, what if we shake to wake? There we go, I don't need to choose anybody. You don't have a girlfriend. Oh, screw you brain out, I, I do too. I'll have you know I've been in a committed relationship for the better part of a decade. And she is currently downstairs desperately trying to muffle out my frustrated screams of pain. <laughs> 107, add one line to make this equation true. Five plus five plus five equals 550. It's gonna take a lot more than one line to fix this disaster of an equation. It looks like a blind toddler wrote this. Like, you could tell that it's supposed to be a five, but they're all not really fives. Which might be part of the riddle now that I think about it. Is there one big line that I could use across all of them to make them another number? It doesn't look like it, right? I could turn them into some kind of Chinese lettering, but probably not another number. So, just assuming that these are drawn correctly, then how would I make this right? We have 550 on one side, we have 5 plus 5 plus 5, so we're missing a lot of value here. Oh. 5 plus... So if I could make, like, this into a 4, or this into a 4, there we go! 545 plus 5 equals 550. No, you don't get to call me a genius one moment and a virgin the next. You could just completely shove it, brain out. Level 108. Tap the fruits from left to right, then tap the hexagon, square, and diamond. Again, we've definitely answered a question like this before because I can remember I got a lot of comments on that episode from people saying that I tap things in the wrong order. 
Like, I screwed up, I didn't realize, but I still got the right answer. Nobody knows why, including me, because I didn't even realize I was screwing up. So now, I'm a little hesitant, but I should be able to do this, right? Tap the fruits from left to right, then tap the hexagon, square, and diamond. Oh, interesting. Square and diamond are the same thing, so it should be like this. I see. There's no star there. It's square and diamond. Okay, that, that was the trick. I got it right this time. I don't want to see any angry comments. Level 109. Jack wants to drink the Minute Maid. You know what? Poor English aside, that's probably a very good idea, Jack. If you're going to be hanging around with me, you probably should pound back the vitamin C. Of course the orange juice wouldn't be the Minute Maid. Would this Coke have been made in a minute? No. It's a whole lot more time to refine that sugar water. Uh, can I... Oh, here you go. It's the size of your torso. That might be the problem, and you don't want this. And there's nothing hiding behind them. Can I do anything to you? Can I make these, like, bigger or smaller? Nope, I can make them levitate. That doesn't really help. <gasps> Jack want to drink the Minute Maid. Maybe it's not Minute Maid, like, the brand? I don't suppose it means, like, a maid will show up in 60 seconds. I really don't want to see Jack drink a maid in 60 seconds now that I think about it. <laughs> Maybe I need to shake it? I can pick it up. I have to be able to pick it up for a reason. So what if I shake it around and then... I thought you know, it's got like sediment in the bottom. You gotta shake orange juice before you have some. Actually, what if I take it and then shake the device? Right? And then... What am I missing? All right, Jack, here's the deal. I don't know what this question wants for me, but I do know that you love your parents and that if you don't drink this orange juice, I'm going to eat your parents. So take it. That wasn't the direction I planned on taking this joke. Why did he take it this time? I didn't do anything differently. Oh my god, this game is gonna give me a brain aneurysm! I've only answered 10 questions, and it feels like I've been playing this for an eternity. <laughs> Level 110! Actually, no, I've only answered 9 questions. And 2 of them I skipped! I've only answered 7 questions! <laughs> Which dream do you want to come true? Travel over the world, slim and wealthy, or get prettier? Well, it's safe to assume that none of these are going to be the right answer, so we'll just go ahead and I take what I can get. Let's be honest, I could use a little prettying, but <laughs> none of that can be right. Would it be something in this? Because that's all I have left to interact with, no? Let me guess. I need to hit all of them, so if I hit this one and this one and this one with a bunch of stupid macro keys... There you have it. I get to be prettier traveling over the world, slim and wealthy, and you can gargle these wealthy nuts brain out. Level 111. Click on the menu. Okay. I clicked on the menu. What do you want me to do here? I'm not seeing anything out of the ordinary. Uh... Can I move forward now? No. Do you mean this menu? This is where you can skip around between the levels. Um, again, not seeing anything helpful here. Good. What do you want from me, game? Okay, it's level 111. I think that means I get to make a wish. I wish for death. Click on the menu. No, are you kidding me right now? There's a little top. That's that. That's not a riddle. That's not a question. That's just annoying. 
Level 112, open the box. What's in the box? Is your dick in the box? Am I about to open a dick box? It's got holes in it. I'm assuming that this is not gonna be an easy box to open, no. Ew. How do I open you? I don't know why I'm making it do figure eights like it's gonna open magically like that. <gasps> I can't grab the lid to take it off. Maybe, okay, hold on. What if I have it so that I can have one cursor here and one cursor there and then pull? There you go. You, you got to do the little, little two finger pull. I, I can figure that out on the emulator, okay? I can make some stuff work. It's just most stuff doesn't. Level 113. What's the answer? One equals five. 2 equals 15, 3 equals 215, 4 equals 3215, and 5 equals what? Now, I know what you're thinking, okay? What is this, baby time math? Like, obviously, the pattern would have 5 equal 4, 3, 2, 1, 5. But we've seen this question plenty of times before. I've been made to look like an idiot by this exact question plenty of times before. They've already told us that one equals five, so five should equal one. Or five could equal five, because we know plenty of times that just because everything else is wrong doesn't mean that five is five. So I'm gonna try one. Right, if one equals five, then five equals one. Nope, nope, okay, well then it's probably five. Or not, is it actually four, three, two, one, five? Was I? Did I just get double whammied into looking like an idiot again? <laughs> So they are recycling their questions, but they're not doing it in a lazy way. They're doing it in a way to screw with you because they've already trained your mind to think in a certain way. And then you go down that path and it turns out, no, it's, it's the obvious answer. <laughs> Level 114, how many differences can you spot between two pictures? I'm assuming you mean these two pictures. Don't, don't argue semantics with me, okay? I would imagine that the fork tongs count as two. Right? Not, not tongs being one. There's just two tongs missing, so it'd be two. Same with the raisins. In fact, moving them probably doesn't count as something. So that would be one, two, three, four differences. And then the color of the stripes would again not be one thing. It would be two things because there's two stripes. So the answer would be eight. Right? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight? Okay. If I don't get questions like that, that's when I would get really upset. That is like literally kindergarten level recess activity. Level 115, tab the blue button 10 times, then tab the red button once. I'm a little concerned that they used tab instead of tap, but it's on a phone, so I clearly don't need to use the tab button. I think they just don't know the difference between tab and tap, even though they screwed it up twice. <laughs> okay, uh, 10 times and then once. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Wait, what? 11? Wait, wh hold on, no, I didn't screw that up, did I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It skipped six. I, I saw, I saw that. I caught you. I didn't doubt myself. I take my time with this crap because I know brain out is just a disease. Level 116. Keep the balance balanced. I swear to God, if I spend 10 minutes trying to figure this out and it turns out I was supposed to tilt my phone in a certain way, I'm I'm, I'm just gonna quit. I'm just gonna stop playing. I'm just never gonna touch the game again. Like, can I actually put you somewhere? Okay, I can interact with stuff. That's a good start. But the fly doesn't make any difference. What? Okay, if I put you over here, Fly 
he's going to be lighter than both of you. There's no way to balance these three things. Oh. Oh, I can take stuff off. If I could take stuff off, then can't I just do this? Yeah, okay. <gasps> what do you mean? Get You're going to call me a genius and then later on you're going to ask me, am I genius? Yes, me am genius. Level 117, count the number of hairs again. You see, we've definitely answered this before. Last time, we had to take off his wig, I would assume, and that made it a lot easier to count his hairs. This time, no luck. Okay, so what have we got here? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 2, 24, 26, 28, 30. He's got 30 hairs, exactly 30. Not that lucky. So, are some of them not hair? Some of them, like, pubes he glued to his head? <laughs> Do his arms count as hair? This guy could really use some time in the gym. What am I missing here? There has to be something that I... Oh. Oh, I could turn you around. Okay, so we've also got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got eight more. Thirty-eight? Even 40 if you count the arms. No, we're good. We're good. We'll, we'll, we'll take 38. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I hope to never see this poor balding boy again. Level 118. What's the answer? Oh, good. We've got some cat math here. Wonderful. We've got three coin cats equals 30. So a coin cat is 10. We've got a coin cat plus two cat faces is 20, which means that two cat faces is 10, so one cat face is five. And we've got a cat face plus two paw pairs is nine. So two paw pairs is four, so a paw pair is two. And then we have a face plus a paw pair plus a coin cat, so that would be seven times 10 would be 70? No? What? I thought I worked through that flawlessly. What do you mean? Oh! Oh, they threw us a curveball at the end. It's not a paw pair, it's just a single paw. And coin cat's missing a paw. So then, would that mean that if a single paw is one, right? Two paws is two, one paw is one, then it would be five plus one, which is six, times nine instead of 10? So that'd be... 54? No? 9 times 6? That should... What am I missing here? What else? <laughs> you got any other body parts gone, cat? I just don't understand. I did the cat math perfectly, okay? I didn't count the missing limbs at first, but we got there. Right? It should be 6 times 9. Which is 54. I, I, I swear I know my multiplication table, but it's not giving me 54. And you do have to add before multiplying, right? I think that's the order of operations. I swear to God if that's not supposed to be multiplication. If that's just a screwed up plus sign, if it's actually 6 plus, if the answer is 14, I am going to lose. Oh my God. God, you can't do that! If you screw up a plus sign, it completely changes its meaning! <laughs> oh, that was 15 minutes of my life! Okay, you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Brain Out, guys. I am gonna stop playing now, but it's not because I'm raging out. Okay, I'm not rage quitting. I am doing this for my physical health, not my mental health. It's just a nice bonus. So Tyke's two-year-old birthday is just gonna have to friggin' wait. If you guys want to see more, again, I don't know if people want to see more brain out. I was already kind of done with it. I figured it's the same thing over and over, but then here they are using the same thing to completely fool me and make me kind of mad, which people seem to enjoy. So let me know, leave a like, leave a comment, that kind of stuff, and maybe I'll return for more. I would imagine the game is gonna end soon. There isn't a whole lot left. There can't be a whole lot left, right? Please. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.